Blessings, beloveds. It's me, Lori Ann Spagna of LoriSpagna.com, here to chat with you briefly today about fourth dimensional reality. A lot of people want to get to 5D or fifth dimensional reality, and they don't really totally understand what that means. We're not going to chat so much about that today, but we are going to talk about the fourth dimensional reality and why it's so important to understand fourth dimensional reality and how to utilize it for your own evolution as you progress into more and more alignment with the love that you are and the joy that you embodied. And as you really begin to fall in love with yourself and with all of life and your life. So what is that all about? So fourth dimensional reality is when you start working with the non-physical reality and you start identifying non-physical as real. Fourth dimensional reality, like all dimensions, are simply bandwidths of wave-like frequencies and patterns where consciousness exists. So up until now, or recently, most humans have been living in an entirely third dimensional bandwidth, right? Height, width, and sound, and depth. Well, I'm sorry, height and width and depth, right? That's, uh, those are 3D right there. Well, that's a dimension of its own. Space is a dimension of its own. And then sound and light are the other two dimensions in 3D, right? Light including color and gradients of color. But as we start waking up to more of our divinity, right? And as we start aligning with more love, we have to really recognize that in order to become the love that we're seeking, in order to become loving beings, in order to love ourselves, in order to love our lives, in order to become the joy that we are, in order to more fully unify with our source and embody more of all of the multidimensional aspects of who we are, we have to recognize there's non-physical matter. That non-physical matter matters. It matters. And most of that non-physical matter, in order to really elevate and unify, elevate our vibration and unify more with the totality of who we are, we still do have to somehow align with, move through, integrate, resolve whatever it is in non-physical, which is mostly in that fourth dimensional realm that has it has a lot of density. So what's in that fourth dimensional reality is all things associated with our lives that we experience in our lives, either consciously or unconsciously, without necessarily seeing it in a conscious way or hearing it in a conscious way or perceiving it fully. So for example, emotions can are, where do they go? Where do they come from? Your emotions, they're not stored. They don't originate necessarily in the non-physical fourth dimensional realm because there is an emotional body but nonetheless they're they're encapsulated in that fourth dimensional realm right especially dense emotions such as grief or sadness sorrow regret shame blame judgment you know those are you know some of those inadequacy inferiority um alienation not good enough i'm not good enough like all of those emotions they hang out beliefs that we're not good enough or that we're not enough or that nothing will ever be enough. Also beliefs and structures of I don't know how or um, the struggle, that, that's all emotional density. Yeah, sadness, pain and suffering associated with um, you know, emotions that are painful or that cause us to suffer. Anger, resentment, judgment. There's no wrongness with those emotions, by the way. When we learn how to utilize them, we will still have them in the higher realms. They just won't have hold of us because they're still in the emotional body. So we can still experience them. In those cases, they become guidance. They become our tools, which I'm not going to go into that today so much. But the concept that you have emotions, they're not really yours necessarily. You're feeling them and experiencing them and their experiences associated with fourth dimension. Same thing with thoughts, beliefs, opinions, and judgments. Those are all in fourth dimensional realm too. Concept of time. Time is moving so fast. People believe that time is fourth dimension. No, fourth dimension is much more than just time. What we believe about time, is it moving fast? Is it moving slow? You know, does everybody have 24 hours in a day? Which, of course, is not really true because time is a construct. It's a set of what we believe and perceive, belief systems and perceptions. So time and the experience of time is often based or lives so much, for the most part, in fourth dimension. It's not, time is actually not really real in the way that we've believed. 
the idea that there's 24 hours in a day and that that 24 hours is a constant is a fourth dimensional belief system. Because when you move beyond 4D, you can elongate time and you can shrink time. And you can play with time in a different way because actually time exists within you. You are much more than the constructs of 4D. What else is in 4D? Entities, non-physical, non-corporeal beings, definitely. That includes demonics too. That's the denser realms. You really don't want to interact with them when you got people who have like suicidal tendencies very often. Addiction, very often those, be, those people have been basically... Um, somehow they've been playing with unconsciously either entities and or demonics. And it's not that they're bad people. It might have been because they got involved in drugs or alcohol. And that brings in spirits from this fourth dimensional realm who will mess with them, right? That's fourth dimensional constructs too. They're not more powerful than you. But if you don't know that they're there, you could easily be swayed to drink, eat, spend, gamble, do all kinds of things that are not the truth of your being and not true to who you are. So it's important to understand how to work with the higher dimensional realm so you can clear that stuff so that you're not captive by it, right? But let's stay on, because I do teach all that, but of course we're going to stay on topic with fourth dimensional reality. Fourth dimensional reality can have ghosts. People who, or animals, even although animals are rarely stuck in that realm because they don't get, they don't get lost in the egoic structure, which is comprised of all those beliefs, belief systems, concepts, ideas, identities, judgments, opinions, etc. That's all 4D. And yes, ghosts, because ghosts can be beings who believe that they're still alive and they may have some kind of, um, you know, matter to them in the sense that they may have some kind of they may show up as apparitions. They may have some kind of density. Mostly, um, mostly they are non-physical, but they have some kind of matter and they have some kind of light that can show up as a type of ghostly apparition type being, right? And they can sometimes affect reality and they can sometimes pierce into the third dimensional realm, which is why sometimes you can hear them, especially with special equipment. That's not fake, right? That's real. Um, so these are just some of the things in the fourth dimensional realm. Any form of pain and suffering, typically, which we can also identify as luge, which is energy that's sitting there. And some of these, what we call negative beings, oftentimes can feed off of that luge, that pain, that suffering. It exists in 4D. This is why it is so important for us to become aware and conscious of this fourth dimensional realm. We often identify with it. That is unnecessary. When we start healing and resolving our trauma, healing and resolving our own um, traumatic aspects, our own unconscious, we disidentify and disentangle from that structure. And when we learn how to transform it, which is part of aligning with our multidimensional being and our higher dimensional aspects, we can transform that so we no longer have to be entangled or enmeshed with it. And this is part of how we free ourselves from the so-called matrix or that third dimensional lower bandwidth that has kept us stuck in that physical world of thinking and feeling that we're so limited and has kept us identifying with pain and suffering and disappointment and you know discouragement, criticism, all those experiences that just really are not really helping us any longer to be who we're meant to be, which is the higher self aspects, right, that go beyond 4D. Our multidimensional being that is love, that is joy, that is infinitely wise, that is infinitely conscious, that is infinitely resourceful, that has access to infinite resource, infinite supply, infinite love, infinite joy, that knows how to embody those energies. You have to move past that, energetically move past that fourth dimensional range of energy so we're no longer entangled or ensnared in it and so we're no longer buying into it as if it's ours or our ego so first thing is to understand that the fourth dimensional realm does exist and it is this non-physical realm it does encapsulate and include those aspects we just talked about it can be mental constructs 
things of the mind, it can be emotional constructs, things of the emotion, and it can be other non-physical matter. And it's all kinds of density. And it's also typically where what we identify as ego and the egoic constructs, um, that's all in there too. So again, our journey is to begin to free ourselves and liberate ourselves from that through healing and through energy healing and transformational energy work so that we can up level our vibration in the process we do naturally that's a byproduct we up level our vibration and we become more of the joy the love the consciousness that is pure our avatar selves our super conscious self our the love that we naturally are that true care for ourselves and one another and our planet and and all of life that's what really becomes expressed and that is more of the truth of who we are all of this other stuff is just construct so and it's stored in that bandwidth of energetic vibration that we call the fourth dimension right okay I hope this has been helpful if you want more assistance clearing healing and resolving these issues and transmuting them that's what I teach so that you can up level to more of your multi-dimensional self that you can become the love fall in love with yourself your life and all of creation all of existence and by falling in love with reality you are you are the true joy the joy that you are that is what's emanating through and from you so if you want more help with that please head over to lorispania.com and join us for any of the live events we always have going on tons of events and there's lots of home study classes there DNA activations tons to help you and support you as you up level and as you align with your multidimensional self and as you align with your source the source of infinite all that is that is within you and fall in love with your life okay I love you so much and yes it's over at lorispania.com I can reconnect with you and in the meantime Please like and share the video. Okay, lots of love to you. Until next time, farewell. Bye-bye.